First thoughts about the Mavericks, challenges they present, having Dirk there on the court? Uh, you know, Dirk's a special player, so you know, we definitely have to keep an eye on him. Um, you know, he's one of those bigs that can stretch the court, and you know, it's going to be on all of us to make sure we know where he's at because you get in a switched-up situation and you know, anybody can get a guard for one possession. Scouting report with him on that team, what's the constant out of uh, the years that you've been in the league so far? Uh, like I just said, I mean, making sure you know where he's at. Uh, as I said, a lot of screens and switch out and uh, roll up to the three-point line. Um, you know, also, you got to watch out for his isolations. I mean, he's just a he's a matchup problem because he's so tall and he can also shoot and he's kind of mobile too. So uh, he's a good player. They're a good team, but they have a really bad record. Is it tough to face some kind of a wounded animal situation there? Um, I think they're just trying to figure things out as a team. You know what, I think. You know, they've had some injuries, and obviously with Dirk coming back, I think they're trying to find out who they are. And so, um, you know, we can't really worry about what they're going through. Um, you know, we just have to come out here and play Utah Jazz basketball tonight. What does that mean, Utah Jazz basketball? Uh, you know, hard-nosed, physical, um, selfless basketball. Play, play for the team, not for yourself. Um, you know, we're going to get after it out there, and we're going to leave it all on the court. Last performer in this building was Justin Bieber. Any pressure to live up to the hype? No, I, I saw some some vans the other day that had all kinds of stuff about Justin Bieber on them. So I mean, I'm sure he had a good turnout here in Utah.